Hey everybody, it's that time again. Well, I'm back anyway. Been a bit busy with a lot of stuff over the last couple of weeks, which is why I haven't posted anything. I've, um, yeah, just been busy. I'm afraid too busy to actually film anything. But anyway, thought uh, I'd give you a bit of an update. Um, things are moving on slowly. I've been painting a few bits and pieces. Um, been working on the 165. I have actually done a few jobs. I've collected a few more parts for the 175. 590, I'm afraid I haven't touched, but you might notice a bit of a difference here. Um, I'm now really just only a couple of hours away from getting this finished. Uh, I've been working on the uh, top cover and have ended up getting a lot deeper into it than I really intended to do because once I got it apart I found that it was in someone has been in there before and it was in a bit of a state so um, I thought well in for a penny in for a pound as it were might as well do the whole thing so got that apart and they're normally pretty stiff but that one was probably the worst I've ever had to get that um, adjusting nut out that ended up having to come out in two pieces with a chisel which I've never had that one that bad before anyway so I've got a complete new spring um, assembly ready to go into there um, that's new and I thought while I've got it apart I might as well replace it because the cam there it's got a nice groove worn in it so I thought well let's have a new one without a groove so I got one of those um, the control cams draft control isn't too bad position control was I've managed to straighten it out that should be straight so that's another little job I've got to do before I put it back together the uh, position control spring was missing um, there's been a bit of grinder action going on in here at some point which is not ideal but but there you go um, I've got the piston out the actual bore on the piston itself isn't too bad and I don't know whether you can see down inside there but you'll have to take my word for it I've seen a lot worse than that one in the past that one will do the piston itself again not too bad I've seen them scored way worse than this however the top ring is stuck um, so I've got a new set of rings to go in there um, the guide on the dash pot as soon as I touch that that just snapped off and these dash pots are impossible to find so I'm gonna have to get that out and make up something new to put in there and hopefully the dash pot is complete and uh, the cross shaft is fairly new I think uh, that has been replaced recently um, and so just to finish everything off I've repainted the top cover um, painted a few more bits and pieces here Getting ready to put them back on. Got the lift arms there. And the rocker link. Got it all done. And so I'm going to get ready to start putting this back together. But I am very pleased with the way this looks. In fact, you could almost go as far as say, I'm actually happy about it. 
Um, yeah, even Lord Muck was quite impressed by the way it looked. So, uh, yeah, we were getting very close. Anyway, let's get a few bits back into the top cover and see what it looks like from there. Right, I've cleaned up the cross shaft and checked it for wear and you can see I've got a red line right along the top and on either end. It's important when you're putting this thing back in to have it timed up correctly with this and with the two lift arms. Now if you look at this you can see there's a little dent there which corresponds with the master spline so just to make that a bit easier to see I'm going to color that in red so as to make it a lot easier to put back together you can see everything now got a red line on it and is timed up so I know exactly where to put them together if you get that wrong and it's quite easy to do so even by one spline it will spoil your day one thing I forgot to say is that there is only one way that this cross shaft can go in because the splines that line up with the ram arm are nearer to that end than they are to this end splines on the inside are there nearer to that end of course that has to go there because the ram bolts on there so yep it's only one way around that can fit anyway after a couple of minutes gentle tapping you've got the cross shaft in you've got the ram arm in place and timed and you've got the two lift arms on freshly painted and covered with dirty finger marks but there you go and you just screw the end cap and the bolt in not going to do the fold over locks just yet because there is another stage of adjustment that comes after this anyway that will probably do you for uh, too much excitement for one day I don't think you need any more of me just yet um, yeah I'll try and uh, this isn't quite what I meant to do this evening it just happened to be what I was doing um, anyway a couple of other little jobs that need to be done on this uh, top cover before I start putting the uh, control cams and stuff back in but anyway that is the first stage and um, we'll see what happens after this anyway thank you all for watching and uh, yeah see you soon or see you next time anyway bye